The city has a bad reputation when it comes to elections, it consistently records the lowest turnout in the state. In 2013, 9 of the 10 constituencies with the lowest turnout were in Bengaluru. The reason may not be limited to apathy of voters. It could also be because electoral lists are replete with errors and duplication. Bengaluru vs. Other urban centres There is credence to the urban apathy explanation for low voter turnout when one compares 48 constituencies across Karnataka that are primarily urban in nature with their rural counterparts. In the 2013 assembly elections, these 48 constituencies recorded just 55.81% voter turnout, nearly 17% lesser than the average turnout in the remaining 176 constituencies where rural voters are present in large numbers. Data shows that there is little difference between the turnout in the state capital and other cities, implying that apathy is not a Bengaluru-only phenomena. However, what causes the apathy? There is no indication in the Karnataka Attitude Survey, conducted by the Election Commission of India, where Bengaluru's attitude to voting is just slightly more apathetic when compared to other cities. For instance, just 22.3% of those in Bengaluru region expressed any sort of intention not to vote, marginally higher than the state average of 19.4%, duplication and errors, who is creating this voter apathy. It is the officials, who do not accept that fake entries and duplicates blot figures in cities like Bengaluru, says PG. An activist who has been pressing for cleansing of electoral rolls. analysis of electoral rolls shows that with each revision, the number of duplicate values goes up in the city, after applications for modifications and deletions, which leads to double entries, wrong entries which leads to confusions and denied votes, there are about 91 lakh voters in Bengaluru. Assuming that 40% are under the age of 18, apart from non-voting population, is the population of the city more than 1.6 crore? The figures are clearly bloated and will naturally lead to lower turnouts, he said. Anecdotally, issues of duplication and deletion have been trickling in. Anjali Saini, a member of Whitefield Rising and the Million Voters campaign that was launched following mass rejections of voter application forms from the area after the municipal polls, says that in just one part of around 250 voters in Bellender, around 40 duplicates have been found. In some, there are different voter ID cards and these may be misused, she says. A check of 20 households in the area revealed 80 bogus votes, people who had no relation with those staying in the houses, while in one instance, two voters were registered as residents of an empty plot. In Seed Chali Gram Panchayat, of the 130 applications submitted by the group, 40 have been rejected, there are no reasons given for either deletion of names from electoral lists or rejection of applications. There seems to be some intention in keeping voters out, alleged Miss Sunny.